To begin, access widget layouts via the content menu. Or the left menu from any design related page. The grid page will list all the system widget layouts as well as your own custom layouts. This column makes it easy to trace whether a layout is being used and on what theme. From here you can edit a theme, or even clone it. When editing a layout template, you are presented with an easy to visualize thumbnail of the sections available to place your widgets. As well as a menu to filter the layout, based on the page type in your store, for example the home page or product pages. As you click the thumbnail, the widgets placed in that section are narrowed down and displayed on the right hand panel. Alternatively, you can expand and collapse the contents of each section via these plus symbols next to the section name. Again, to help easily locate the widgets within each section, there is a summary on the same row as each section. Each widget is listed on a row within the sections here, starting with its title. Unless edited from the theme, this will be the title also appearing in your storefront. You can easily turn it online and offline via this button. And set which page types this widget will appear on. Separating the page types you can place widgets allows for flexibility to build a different widget layout for each page type in your storefront. And now you can sort the order of widgets within your sections. Each widget has different settings as you click on the title to edit them. As you can see, there are a number of customizable options for displaying best sellers including how many thumbnails and the contents of the thumbnails. To add a new widget to a section, click this menu and click the widget name. 